So, this was on Pat McAfee's show today, and listen, this is definitely a misreport on his part. And it is what it is. At the end of the day, you know, we all make mistakes, so I'm not going to really get on too much for this. Uh, this was a live show, though, so it's definitely not the best. But again, you know, he's not getting the most recent news possible every second of the show. So, pretty much he talks about how... That Coach Taylor hinted at Joe Burrow might not be healthy going into the season. And he talks about that exact case, right? Because he thinks that he's not going to be healthy going into the season. The reason why this is a misreport is because Joe was at practice today. He was 100%. He was doing all the drills. He looked good. He looked like he was perfect. But again, I do want to go ahead and react to what my man Pat McAfee had to say. And kind of give my thoughts and opinions on the whole entire thing. Not... Wanting to use that image. There we go. I have to come up half the screen. There we go. Zach Taylor is speaking about Joe Burrow, who's my quarterback for my fantasy football team. Hell yeah. In the past, I had thought maybe he's just keeping it kind of sly. Sure. You know, he's just he's kind of laughing. He's giving like Bill Belichick like answers. You know, he's saying ah, he's progressing. And they're like, yeah, but how's Joe for week one? Uh, he's progressing with a smile. It's like he's kind of treating this not, not that serious, kind of having fun with it all. He knows Joe Burrow's good. Mm -hmm. And then we heard this answer mm. from Zach Taylor, and I'm really starting to wonder, what what's the deep? What are we doing? Why can't you tell us Joey Burrow's healthy or when he's going to be back? Here's head coach Zach Taylor, friend of the program, talking about superstar quarterback Joey Burrow and his calf injury. I know you said you'll see about whether Burrow practices or not, but given all the time since he had the injury in July, where is he at from a health perspective as, as we get ready for that season uh, opener in week one? Health other than the calf, you mean? Well, just, just how is it just, yeah, how is, how is he from a health perspective as he gets, uh, as y'all get ready for week one? I think he has a very healthy body. Um, <laughs> and I'm encouraged by that. Just following up one more on Joe Burrow. Is there any connection to his practice availability to what's going on with his contract situation? No. I don't understand why people don't understand the fact that coach answers questions like this because everyone asks the same questions. And every time they ask these questions, they're trying to be leading questions to try to make out story and headlines that Joe Burrow is not healthy. That's why he's answering like this. And also, side note here, by the way, this is not from his live show. This is a recording that was just uploaded 45 minutes ago when at 12.30, Joe Burrow was practicing. So, again, I, I understand maybe from his live show, but this was actually posted 45 minutes ago after everything got done, which really doesn't make sense for you to post this 45 minutes ago when you already know, if you're Pat McAfee, that Joe Pras is today and he's good. I would, if anything, just not post this part, right? And then just kind of go away. This is just, in my opinion, him trying to get clicks and views, which I don't understand why. Yeah, so it's just weird at this stage. Very. You know what? Like, we, Gannon said he's not, I, I'm not saying yeah, if it's Dobbs. That's what this is. I'm not saying if it's Dobbs or Tooney, mm -hmm. uh, who's going to be the quarterback for us for competitive advantage. It's like... Okay, Dobbs and Tune, no offense. I think an NFL defense coordinator, Jack Del Rio for the commander, should be able to figure that out at first series. Okay, what Dobbs got, mm -hmm. what Tune got. I understand they got to prepare for more stuff, so you're in their head. But also, first game of the season, they got fucking three weeks to kind of do yeah, all this whole yeah. thing. Interesting. Is it a competitive advantage thing? Are you yes. trying to tell people? Yes, it is. If you don't know exactly and you have to prepare for two people and you don't have to prepare for – solely on one person, it's a big advantage. I think everybody's thinking Joe Burrow's playing, though, because we saw that video of him wearing that catapult yep. where he was jogging across the yeah. field, and then he was throwing. That was, like, what, a week and a half ago? Yeah, yeah it was a while. And he looked pretty okay. Like, and it's – I just don't – I, I, at what point will we find out if Joey Burrow's going to be healthy? Because, obviously, fantasy football, but, like, yeah, the uh -huh. entire – and I would think at this point, especially after he's saying all this, that someone – because keep in mind, he's not by himself. He has a whole entire team. He just signed a deal with ESPN. You would think someone maybe at ESPN or someone you know, on his team would say, hey, hey, Pat, 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 please stop. You, he's healthy. He's processing today. Like, this is actually happening. You don't have to, like, someone on his team would at least tell the guy, like, dude, this is no. You're acting like he's out. He's not out. 
And I'd say I do agree with Pac-Man on it's a little bit of a competitive advantage, obviously. But it's also really not Coach's place to speak on the matter, if you really think about it. Because, again, it depends on when Joe feels healthy to come back. Even beside the point he's back right now, throughout the last couple weeks, you know... Coach knows how long the injury would be, like, on the table, right? Obviously, several weeks, you know, and that's what he said. But, like, it's not his right or ability to speak on how fast Joe needs to recover or how long he needs to recover. That's why many coaches, they always say, hey, listen, I'm not going to speak on the injury because that's not my injury. I don't know how the player is going to develop. I'll, you know, recover. And that's pretty much that. And the way Coach is responding is pretty much him saying, like, listen... I'm not going to speak on it, but I'm also not going to give you guys headlines, right? I'm not going to give you guys any type of headlines or any type of media. At the same time, there's no point because this is what happens when you give or you not give, but this is what happens even when coach doesn't give anything, even when he's not even giving anything. It's now, oh, well, that clearly shows that Joe's not going to play when he's practicing. Pat, you got to get your team. Your team has to make sure you got this information on point, especially if you're live on a show, you know, and you upload this 45 minutes ago. NFL. Yes. The entire NFL is a little bit different if Joey Burrow has an actual yeah. calf thing going on. Yeah, it would be terrible if you lose Burrow for an entire year for a Bengals Whoa. fan, of it's course. Not really but, yeah, well, I mean, Don't that's what it is. I honestly, got gear. I got the feeling that he, like, tore his Achilles watching that video. I, I actually did. Well, he definitely didn't definitely do that. Did we that. saw him running on the field. That's. I mean, can you run with a torn Achilles if you're just shot up with a bunch of, you know, Toradol? Who knows? No, actually, like, you physically cannot. That's the whole thing about the Achilles. No. That's why, it's I guess, up. we, yeah, we had the, uh, um, we had the immature amateur eye whenever we saw his injury, and we all go, ooh, that looks like an Achilles. Oh. And then everybody came out like, Achilles, your feet, your foot just dangles. Yeah, you can't do it because this thing right here, remember they held what's-his-face by these. Remember it was Achilles. His, yeah, it was yeah. his Achilles heel. Uh -huh. That's right. It was, his, it was his Achilles heel. Yeah. But this thing kind of keeps your foot, you know, as a thing. Sure. Yeah. And then when you bust it, it's down, so you actually cannot. Just floppy. It, it at what point does ESPN just come in and say, we understand that you like to keep it unscripted, Pat McAfee, but this guy just said that Joe Burrow towards Achilles when he's practicing. At what point do you just go in the little walkie-talkie and go, Pat, shut up. He's practicing. Stop talking about him. Like, literally, this one of his guys says that I think based on watching that video... Based on watching Coach Taylor say what he said, he's like, I think he's towards Achilles. And said he thinks he's out for the year. And yes, he might be joking, and I'm going to guess he's joking. But, like, this is how outright, like, oh, just continue. In the video that we watched, where he jogged across the field, and then he threw, can't do it. Okay. If it wasn't Achilles. Okay. Which makes you think it's just a calf. And if you say just a calf, like, I guess it's just a muscle. It muscles all heal, but they've been weird about this. Mm -hmm. thing. So I don't necessarily love it. You're a Steelers fan, yep. so you're always going to come from that angle. But this has been interestingly handled here by Coach Zach Taylor. Yeah, it has, and it kind of feels like a college coach because it's going on a lot with college quarterbacks. Right? Like it doesn't feel like an NFL situation because they're going to have to put out the injury designation the week of, right? Like yep. Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, like the injury report, the practice report comes out. It feels weird. And I hope it's not this competitive advantage bullshit because there's no one behind Burrow, so I I, I don't understand it all. To be well, with you. let's go to college because they're out of the state of Ohio, and we hope Joey Burrow's healthy. I yeah. hope Joey Burrow's healthy. Need you back, yeah. Joe. Need you back, Joe. Hope you're okay, Joe. He looks so cool. When he's practicing, this is literally right when he's practicing. He's recording this and then uploads it later. Oh my gosh, this is like. This is just so hilarious that it, this is actually a thing. All right, let's continue. I have a minute left. At everything he does. Everything. Mm -hmm. Need him in the NFL. Yeah, he's yeah. at the messy game. He was at the messy game. Yeah, he was Walking, walking clear. Loving it. Yep. How was his, was he was he limping at all? Not at all. I didn't look like he it. He did leave early to get a new Achilles though, right? Oh, he did leave early. Now he went to watch <laughs> film. Probably for week one. That's right. Yeah. But Zach Taylor needs to just tell us. Yeah. You know, and this is very selfish of us to just be like, hey Zach. Enough. Cut the bowl. No more bowl. Okay. We worry about it. The Bengals fans worry about it. But Zach Taylor doesn't care. Maybe it is the second. He's going to make a wait another week. Question. Maybe it's a hold in.
Yeah, maybe it's a contract. That lady, great question. Maybe yeah, follow up. Maybe Zach hey, lied. Just real quick, haven't really asked this because Joey Burrow, Ohio guy, face of the program, he's in the middle of a contract negotiation right now. He's not practicing, playing, doing anything. That's a great question. That's yeah, definitely absolutely. Not it. Definitely not. It. He's an Ohio guy, football. Definitely guy. not. It. He wouldn't let that get away. No, nah, he's Ohio. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, we're stopping. Good yeah. call. And then you end it with saying maybe he's holding out for a contract. Gosh, okay. First off, first off, first off. Again, as I stated before, no, that is not, I guess he said selfish to them. But he said it's not bullcrap of Coach Taylor not to speak on someone else's injury when he does not know what the player, how long the player is going to be out for. Especially with the fact that Jamar Chase said himself that, you know, he felt like he needed to take an extra week to recover from an injury from the same exact calf injury because he didn't feel like he was 100%. So he came back a week later. He, doctors would have told him, hey, Jamar's cleared this week. And Chase said, nope, I want to take another week off. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's body recovers at the same time, or sorry, different times. That's why when CBS reporter um, Bryant McFadden came out and said, well, I went, I had a calf injury and it only lasted one week. So clearly he has worse than a calf injury and the Bengals are lying. Like, no, it's because everyone's body's different. And also, they're not going to make a media circus over this because that's all the media wants to do is create this media circus over everything that happens. And at the end of the day, that's a waste of time. There's no reason to push him back throughout preseason and training camp. There's no reason to do any of this stuff. Yes, I, I guess you could say competitive advantage, or it's the fact that Coach Taylor gets asked these questions every single day, every single time he goes in front of the media. And he's just not going to speak on it because there's no reason to. Like, he asked me, is he healthy? Yeah, he's healthy. Okay, uh, other than his calf, which obviously, because he had a calf strain. It's just so stupid. And this is why, again, I like Pat McAfee. I really do. Like, and I've watched his show over the years so many times. But it's stuff like this, again, as he's practicing for you to cover this, it's just a really bad take on you. That's all I will say. Listen, everyone makes mistakes in the media world. I have made mistakes. Everyone has, right? But at the end of the day, if you are live and he has a whole entire team, he just got signed by ESPN, there's got to be someone who goes in his ear and say, hey, listen, you know, you got to you gotta stop. You got to cut this. And then again, keep in mind, I just want to say this again. He uploaded this video at 4.40. This uh, obviously wasn't him. It was his team. At 4.40, they uploaded this video. Literally, he's practicing at 12.30. That's a bad take. And then again, this show, 12 to 3. At 12.30, this was at around 1 o'clock, 1.30 when he said this. 12.30, he's processing. By the way, I just want to give a shout out. Shout out to Nate Johnson. My man, he comments on my videos sometimes. And whenever I like watch videos and I see, you know, like... I see someone I um, that comments on my content. I always like to be like, yeah, that's my man's right there. Let's go. And he says, Burrow Price today. That's how you know he's my subscriber. Because he already knows that. Because he already knows the content's out there. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.